Well, now that spring is here, the flowers are blooming, the trees are full, and wildlife is back out. Yep, you may have <laughs> noticed more animals in your yard or your neighborhood recently. Good as Lindsay Tuman spoke with a wildlife biologist about what to keep in mind to keep your home and yourself safe this time of year. <laughs> So springtime, you know, everything comes to life again. It seems like the trees are greening up and food sources for wildlife are becoming more and more abundant. That abundance can lead to more interactions with wildlife. Karen Nitschke is a wildlife biologist with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. And it's key to remember that wildlife are seeking three things, either food, water or shelters. Those three things could be attracting more animals near your home, especially in urban and suburban settings. Um, sometimes we provide unknowingly food sources for these animals who are just kind of waking up in search of, uh, you know, an easy meal. Around now, that can include black bears waking up from hibernation. Last year, residents in Sandy Springs, Norcross and Cherokee County had bear sightings. They are very smart. They're very intelligent animals and they have um, a very acute sense of smell. So they are able to find and secure food um, using their sense of smell very well. There's a good chance they'll return to the same locations they had luck with food last year. DNR suggests you secure your garbage, remove bird feeders, keep your pet food inside, and clean and put away your grill. You might also see more snakes in your neighborhood. But Nitschke says the chances of running into a venomous snake, especially in suburban areas, is very low. However, you can take simple steps to try and avoid them. Some things you can do is just keep, keep your lawn mowed short. Um, don't leave any piles of debris or yard trash out um, that provides shelter for them. In general, Nitschke says if you leave the animals alone, they should do the same for you. They're serving a purpose and if they're not hurting us, if they're not um, acting funny, they're not acting sick or they're not injured in some way, then, you know, they're going to move on. They're going to keep doing their thing and it's best to just let them do it. In short, if you care, leave it there. In Social Circle, I'm Lindsay Tuman for Good Day Atlanta.